Kane family. What's up with y'all, man? I told y'all I was going to drop another video today. I said right after the other video I just dropped. So, okay. This is my theory, right? reason why I feel like we've been cursed for like some while now, whatever. 2007 was the last season we played at the Orange Bowl with uh, Randy Shannon. I was just watching the game not too long ago uh, when they played Texas A&M. They was like 2-1. and So, my thing with the reason why we going down, we've been going down for like ever since the Orange Bowl been torn down because the Orange Bowl was like the heart and soul of the program. The heart and soul. And when they tore it down, the feeling, the vibe, ain't the same as the Orange Bowl when you play in the sunlight or Hard Rock Stadium. It's not the same, y'all. It's not close to the campus. It's, you know, the vibe. If you ever, if you ever been to the Orange Bowl before, I've been to the Orange Bowl two times. Since being a Hurricane fan back in 1990. And when I tell you the atmosphere, the Orange Bowl is hella different compared to the uh, Hard Rock Stadium. It is hella different. Uh, I'm going to call a certain game. 2006, this is when Larry Coco stood up. So, we went to go watch the, this one, uh, Sonora's Monster playing wide receiver. If I ain't mistaken, 2006. Um, so, they were playing Virginia. And, like, when you walk in, in the, the stadium, like, you can feel the old passion, the old, you know, fans and and back in the 80s. and not, You can feel it when you walk in the stadium, man. Like, you know, it's like, dang, this is the Orange Bowl, you know. This is where all the magic happened when we won the national championship in and, you know, all the greats play here, Dwayne or Dwayne the Rock Johnson and uh, Warren Sapp and Ray Lewis and you know the list goes on. You feel me? Jonathan Vilma and all them and da 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 da, you feel me? And so you walk into the atmosphere is so different. And you can feel the positive vibe. You can feel like this is our house kind of vibe. It's like we can really feel like this is our house. Like can nobody fuck with us in this bitch atmosphere. And so, when 2006, when I went to that game, it felt like that. Because I think we, matter of fact, we beat, we beat the shit out of Virginia that game, that night. And me and my uncle went down to the, uh, the Bayside. If, you, if you're Florida and you Miami, you know what I mean by Bayside. So, we went over to the Bayside. And went over there, man. Hell of a victory. We left like four quarter with eight minutes to go. Shit, it was like a fucking 30-something to seven games. Some shit like that. And so, went over to the Bayside. And the game's still going on. It was like, dang, we beat traffic, <laughs> you know. It was a good game. Yo, drink that. Drink that Yahoo. It was a good game, you know what I'm saying? And the atmosphere was so good. Like, you felt like it was home. Home, you hear me? Now, I feel like that was the heart and soul of the program. And if anybody that been to the Orange Bowl, and you season ticket holders to the Orange Bowl, and you know, you've been to games at the Orange Bowl, you know what I'm coming from. There's no it's no atmosphere like the Orange Bowl for us being home at home. Um when they tore it down in two after two thousand seven season, it was like, damn. It, it was a feeling like somebody just snatched your soul, you know what I'm saying? Like how can how can they tear down the Orange Bowl? The house. How you tear down your house? So I feel like that tore the heart and soul of the program. And ever since then, we've been trying to get back right. Like the 2017 Ray Shannon had was pretty okay. It was pretty good. He progressed. But at the same time, it was just like once they tore down like the 2008 season, it started getting shaky. 2009 season, even more shaky. You know what I'm saying? We were winning games. We was losing games. But it was like. We in Sunlight Stadium, was Shark Land Shark Stadium, whatever the fuck the name that stadium was where the Dolphin played in. And it didn't feel right. When you go to a game, after going to a game at the Orange Bowl, it didn't feel right. And when they when we start playing there, that's when we had Randy Shannon, that's when the narrow Shapiro shit came up and it was just like that's when all the bad shit started to rock. They really fuck us. 
right there after we we tore that stadium down. Like the football guys, like oh, so you gonna tear down the the, the, the stadium that I built for y'all? That you know that y'all that I let y'all win. You know you gain that championships in and stuff. And you gonna do it like you gonna do me like this? Okay, I got you. And ever since then, it been sanctions and shit and losing this and that and the third and whatever. If you think about it. Theoretically, it, it been like that. It been going like that since we tore that build to tore that stadium down. So, fast forward. So we been going through Randy Shannon, got rid of Randy Shannon, got Al Golden. Al Golden couldn't produce no defense or coordinator. And, da, 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 and, and it just kept going with these sanctions while he was at though. So once he got it done with the sanctions, his last season that he coached, I think that was one of the first, actually official first season that he actually did. He had chance to get scholarships and and playing a ball game and shit like that. We finally get we when when he gone, who we pick up? Mark Rick. And then this is where we totally ain't ourselves no more. Like we are not lost the heart and soul. So we we damn near halfway down of not being the same program ever again. So now, they decide to go, James Blake decides to go with fucking Adidas for our uniforms. Remember, we was Nike. We had Nike on lock hope 27 years. 24, 27 years. And all of a sudden, we go to Adidas? Now you just stripped over our identity. Now we looking like fam you. Like fam you? Yeah, like fam, you with Adidas. I don't know about y'all. Nike made those uniforms to fit our playing style, to make us look like historic team period. You know, like the old days. But you go with Adidas that make us look like we playing high school football. Let y'all think about that for a minute. We changed uniform. Mark Rick got them. Look it up. Mark Rick got there in 2015. That's when we got we went to Adidas because of James Blake James. Now after we don't lost the heart and soul, which was the Orange Bowl, now we stripped in 2015 our identity. The uniforms are what made players be like, dang, I feel like the old you and stuff like that. Now, these uniforms that we wear now don't make these players want to stay. They don't even give them a, a feel of what the old team, the 2001, that's championship team, 1990 teams, shit. It don't give them a feel like they can be champions. So now they just feel like they're just on another team. If y'all think about it, you look at how we've been playing ever since Mark Rick, all the way now to Manny Diaz. Just think about it now. So, now we got people in the transfer portals. We got players coming here that don't want to be here because if they don't get the playing time, they want to play. And the coaches that we get are homeboy coaches and shit and all this other shit. And so, now we don't have a heart and soul, which is our own stadium. We're playing at Tar Rock Stadium. No matter how much we try to make it seem like it's our home, it's not. Then after that, you strip us of our identity by going from Nike to Adidas. Now we just look like a regular fucking high school goddamn family youth looking team. So, what is our identity? We don't have one. We got bad luck on our side because of what we, because of how we tore our own house down and it strip our own fucking identity. Now this comes to this. This is what comes to this. Is what I gotta say now. <clears throat> the best thing we can do is. Number one, start back firing Blake James for going to fucking Adidas. That, that's I don't give a fuck in these hires that he doing. I know some people, I wanted Manny to come there too, but at the same time, I was like, damn, Merry Christmas ball. And, you know, I was like, oh, well, maybe Manny can do it. We'll give him a year. I didn't want him to be there for three fucking years, so let's try him out for a year. Shit, fuck it. It looked like he didn't know what to do with the defense, but. But Blake Jane, we ain't hiding. We didn't take the time to process it. We was going through the most because we wanted Mark Rick gone so bad. Now, you can call me crazy all you want to. But think about it. We don't turn our heart and soul out, which is the Orange Bowl. 
dance to that. We take our own identity from Adidas to, I mean, from a Nike to fucking Adidas. And now we just sitting here hiring people that we think that's a good hire rather than taking our time and finding the right hire. So if that's not karma for goddamn tearing our own house down and then taking our own identity, I don't know what is bad, bad juice. This is just my opinion, my theory. It, it, it might not be factual to y'all, but I just feel like everything went down after we tore that fucking orange bowl down. Everything. And then when we stripped ourselves from the Nike to Adidas, it damn so showing up. Now, how we fucking lose the games against the Georgia Tech that it went from a triple option to a, a, a shotgun spread option shit, whatever the fuck they run in the RPO. It's 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 going down bad. Now what we need to do is get rid of Blake James. Or Blake James need to bring Mary Crystal Ball, whoever, take the time, get get the hire right and go with the right coach to progress us, not decrease us. But that's just my theory. I just had to spread this one to y'all. I just wanted to spread that to y'all, man. Um uh, uh, like comment. If you if you disagree, agree with me. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Please get me to a thousand so I can go live with y'all and answer y'all questions and stuff. Get me to a thousand subscribers or something, a thousand views on one video, or a few videos, so I can go live and we can chat it up. Uh, but yeah, I just want to drop that on y'all and let y'all think for a minute. Remember, man. Great to be Miami Hurricane. Hit stick, bust dick, baby. Let's go.